fact, um, some quick laps in at the very, very end uh, of the race for both the Cortinas wasn't to be quite good enough. But uh, in terms of overall pace, look at that. Uh, we've got uh, Henry Mann, who uh, put in a great time, only a second and a half shy of Tom Christensen's. At the start, there was a nudge uh, for the Alpha from the slower starting BMW. Of course, the BMW quite a lot heavier than the Alfa Romeo. Tucked down the inside, that's uh, 16 coming past 27 there. 16 was the Henderson car, 27 was uh, Kerry Michael. That was at uh, uh, St. Mary's. But brute force down the outside took uh, Henry Mann ahead. Little and large battling, always popular in uh, tin top racing. And some wonderful overtakes by uh, Nick Swift on Alex Furiani. But uh, Furiani always had just that little bit of uh, extra grunt. Of course, he would have with a 1600cc Alfa Romeo high revving twin cam engine under his bonnet. Little 1293 A series in the Mini, which danced around most beautifully around the circuit. And uh, that was uh, partly going off at Lavant. Several times Nick Swift came from nowhere and uh, he did pull off a remarkable pass on the inside at St Mary's later in the race, but it was all to no avail. This is the one he went past. Thank you very much. But there was no denying Henry Mann, who with Tom Christensen has uh, cemented a very, very fine double victory this weekend at the Goodwood Revival. Brilliant driving. In fact, the top few drivers were sensational. I'm really not sure that uh, Mike Jordan knew he had a flat uh, tyre at the back. They were banging in low 32s at the end of the race. He and uh, Matt Neal, as you said, uh, Matt didn't make a mistake. Ordered this man, Henry Mann.